Guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another cigar review. So today we are doing another knuckle sandwich. This one is sent in by Smoke One. If you have one, Eric, um, it's new. So I guess we should smoke it. Like I personally is like a love and hate kind of situation with knuckle sandwich because knuckle sandwich is kind of good but i just don't know why i don't always like it that much and it's good but i don't know why i don't like it that much you know and the previous one you know uh that quick sent over the the 55 was good too it's like you know it's just not right i don't know so um yeah we gotta smoke the 56. Let's take a good look at this cigar right now. All right. Espinosa Naco Sandwich 56. Wrapper is Mexico San Andreas. Binder is Nicaraguan. And filler is Nicaraguan. The size is 6 by 56. In a Vitola of Toro Oval. Yeah, it's kind of like pressed down from the center, but like not all the way. Uh, MSRP is $16 in a box of 10. You know, it, it does look like San Andreas. It, it looks like it's got a fair amount of like sitting there aging and something like that because it's really rough. Like it feels like powdery chocolate. So we'll see. We will see how that looks like. All right, let's go. Without fail, a good Mexican San Andreas smells like stinky foot i mean if you don't know what that smells like just wear your wear a sneaker without socks go run around for a little bit come back take off your shoes and smell your foot that's how this house smells like I, I i swear that's how it smells like so all right let's go Cold dry is like, um, oh wow, a stinky chocolate. Stinky cocoa. Yeah. It's like, like a woodsy bad cocoa, but you know what that tastes like, so. Going as fast as I can to get to the smoke. Let's go. All right, typical Espinosa fashion. First thing I taste, pepper. First thing I taste is pepper. Dry is okay, but there's definitely a hole there. Tastes a little bit of cocoa, coffee, woodiness, pepper. A little bit of earthiness, just a little bit. A little bit cream, creamy.
Some sort of spice too. I might have to press it back to like not oval to get it to have a better draw because it's too loose. I had to press it in. Here we go. Here we go. There is definitely a little bit of mineral too. Or it could be the result of this thing not burning too well, missing some parts. All right. Let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, so first stir. It has an opportunity to be a really good cigar. And what I mean by an opportunity is if it doesn't have a hole this big. Yeah. So, you know, it's the main material I understand, but dude, what the hell, man? Who stole my tobacco, man? Return my tobacco. I need some, man. Um, Yeah. First stir, it has that woodsiness. It has that... that small amount of dinkiness it has that cocoa that wants to be cocoa but it's like it never really gets there because it's missing tobacco and and that's the risk you have when you making a somewhat box press and then you had to underfill it and sometimes underfill it it, it it leaves a hole so i hope this thing doesn't go all the way because like there's nothing here man if it goes all the way this cigars you know i don't know so We'll continue. We'll see how it goes. Be right back. Second, third. All right. So it kind of filled up a little bit. So it's not as big hole anymore. And um, it's, it just got to a point where it's peppery and woodsy and earthy. That chocolate, that cocoa, it's in the back end. It still have it. But... You taste more of that earthiness. You taste more of that woodsiness. You taste more of that pepper. That's kind of like toned down pepper. And then you taste the chocolate. Um, I wouldn't say this is a bad cigar, but take a while to get there and I'm almost done. It feels like not very satisfying. Not very satisfying. So it's not a bad cigar, but I got a bad one per se. And it, it didn't make me feel satisfying. There's still a hole there. There's still a hole. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's still a hole. But uh, I'm trying to give it the best chance possible. Slowly, right? All right. 56, man. It's like 55, but let's just change the number to 56. I don't know if I still have the 55, man. I can do a comparison, but I don't. I don't think I do. I think I throw it away. A lot of time I want to keep the band for comparison's sake, but sometimes it's like, oh, it's getting too many of those. I just throw them away. You know what? When I smoke this cigar, I'll, I'll, oh, you know, I found it. I found it. All right, here we go. All right? It's just basically changing the numbers. It's the same band. There you go. Pretty much. All right? I think the 55s are bigger. Right? 55. Yeah, the 5 is bigger. 5 is bigger. Oh, the font is different too. font is different too. Alright. Okay. So we have that. Now, last turn. Let's finish it up. Uh, um, You know what? Before I forget, because I tend to forget this. The, the strength about medium. Alright, so. I don't want to forget that. Because I think I forgot a few video ad, um, that I was recording. And I've... Sometimes when it's median, I tend to forget to mention it because median is so normal. It's medium, so sometimes I forget to mention. But it's median straight. Be right back. All right, so we're done. Now, this cigar last stir is just pretty much pepper, woodsy, earthy, and strength. Last stir creeps up. It feels like a full cigar. It feels like a full string cigar at last stir. It creeps up really quickly. All of a sudden, boom, you feel it. You feel it. So uh, that's something that I have to say that I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy how it creeps out like that, where the, the flavor is lost, but you still you got a lot, a lot of strength. And you're like, oh, I'm going to finish this up. But you know, hoping for some, uh, some flavor to come back, it never really come back to justify that strength. It's a lot of strength. A lot, a lot of strength. I, I don't like it. Mm. So with that being said, 
this cigar gets um, 1050 to 11. 1050 to 11, in my opinion. It's not very far from MSRP, but I'm taking points off, you know, the, the construction, taking points off the strength, and definitely takes some consideration that, you know, the, 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 the size, the time for enjoyment, all that stuff. So, you know, 10, 10 and a half to 11. It is slightly better than an average cigar, but, you know, I have some problem with it. So that's why 10 and a half to 11 dollar. I'm pretty sure some people might have, have a better construction one or better distribution of the flavor. And it is man-made material. They, you know, break up the, the tobacco and put it together. So sometimes you got to get a bad arrangement, I guess. But for me, that arrangement didn't work. Um, I get more strength than anything. It feels like a chore at the end, you know? So not for me, all right? So thanks uh, to Eric sending me the cigar to review because uh, this is one of those cigars I probably otherwise wouldn't have picked up. I uh, appreciate that he sent me the cigar. And that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out our podcast, check out our membership, check out swag. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys. Bye.